Welcome home, Dick Ramek. Yes. Yeah, I was eating. And I'm hoping the microphone is on. Oops, hitting a bit of red there. I'll push that away just a little. All right, let's get started. Welcome, welcome. I haven't turned on any of my lights. Yep, it's on. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to. Sorry, just. I've got a light over here. I'm just going to turn it on. Because as the sun sets, um, it'll get dark in here. Okay. Let's open up a terminal. Let's go. Type in the wrong address, get status. All right. So what are we doing today? Um, we are gonna do a shakeout test for all of Near Beach. The idea being is we wanna find all those bugs um, and then we're going to do a release. Now there is, oh, I gotta log in. Sorry about this. to have an auth code to do. I can't type that fast enough. All right, come on, it's gonna change over. Yep. So I don't tend to share the login screens anymore. I've been um, doxxed by uh, LinkedIn and stuff like that, where they're like, oh, by the way, is this your number? And I'm just like, you assholes. Sorry, just texting someone very quickly. Um, all right. So, with this particular this particular one, object data does not have user permissions checking. We're going to push that back a little bit. I tried doing something on the weekend. Essentially, I realized that there's going to be a lot of refactoring involved and it's probably easier and better just to do a release and hold off on this for the time being. It's not too much of an issue. The person has to be logged in uh, to do any damage. They have to know um, the other objects and so forth like that to try and get any sort of damage. It's not really a high security sort of issue, uh, but it is something I do want to actually do. Um, so yeah, we are going to move that away from this particular release. We're going to do a shakeout test today. So we're going to test all these issues re, re again. And we are going to, yeah, do a release. Now I had a quick look at these. I don't think there's any in here, which I need to bring forward. I think All the current issues. Yeah, so we've only got four. Uh, which is great. So we're in a really good spot. Um, so I laugh at four because after we do a shakeout test, we're going to have 30. So good luck to us. Um, so yeah, let's npn run prod. We're just running a prod version of Near Beach. Uh, we are also going to replace the database and set it back to the fixins database and we're just going to create data from there. It's going to be 10 times easier to do it that way. So what we're doing, Python 3, um, before we do any of that, remove database SQL light, Python 3 manage migrate, <coughs> Python 3 manage load data and then what we're loading is under the fixins. Uh, fixtures, sorry, and we're loading the basic sort of data. All right, now that we've done that, we're quite happy. We're going to put this in debug mode. I'm going to go over here. We're just going to go localhost. 
and we're not going to log in as a administration user we're going to log in as a um team leader let's not treat socks all right so let's go to 031 oh sorry 0331 uh let's start from the top actually let's just do it by id um ux ui ux associated objects is not in card format so that is part of the cust organizations so if we actually go to list organizations we go into near beach we go associated objects and there we go that one's definitely fixed uh campaign cards have numbers instead of strings in the drop down box all right so this one if we list not customers but list all Go to the Kanban board. It happened when we're dragging and dropping stuff. Stop, stop it. And that's now fixed. Removing groups from objects can remove users that are under multiple groups. So what we need to do is we're gonna create a new project. We're gonna go um, assign all users. Like so, we're just gonna use Near Beach and Corporate, which is gonna create a project. We're going to add the administration group into here. And we're gonna add everyone in, including dark admin. Now the idea is admin user is over two groups. Dark admin is only under the um, administration. So if we click on this and go, yes, get through just dark admin and the admin user stays, great. Uh, RFC validation needs to be refactored. We did that. So this is the new RFC page. So deploy the new RFC, no longer uh, a long form. Now in wizard form. So we go next. Um, Socks is sitting on my keyboard. 0331, all right, sweet. Uh, we'll go to the team lead, we're gonna next. Oh, all right, that should be sending us up to the top. We'll try that again, and just a little bit. All right, I must have done something to stop that from happening. And there you go, sweet. All right, that will need to be shake, uh, shaken out fully. Login screen has a um, two uh, megabyte file. I think this was a, we had a problem with it being a big file and then we fixed everything. It is now a 126 kilobyte file so rather small we only transferred uh 530 kilobytes and that's including the image which that particular image is huge but they drop down quite a bit cool so we're happy with all of those we are still continuing with our shakeout test we just want, want to make sure that nothing is broken so we're going to put in a new organization All right, so. In a sense, I won't say this is a bug, but we we are um, depreciating the error modal. So the idea is this error modal will eventually just disappear. Um, we no longer want to use it. Uh, the reason being is that we've got a better solution so if we actually go to project ah oh, project doesn't have anything all right so just wondering if to put this in as a feature not necessarily a bug
Yeah, it's there two. New Kanban board. It's there two. Now that's bugged. That should be telling you user, hey, there is an issue. That's also a bug. That's working as intended. So yeah, the idea is we'll have these little toasts that pop up instead. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it does create five bugs straight off the bat um, because one, two, three, four, five, six, six issues. Yeah, all right. I think I should. I think I should. Uh, we need to depreciate error modal for new organization um, method. Oh. We'll just paste it in a screen. Um, when creating, oh, no, no, we'll do a proper method. Log into Neobeach to navigate menu, uh, new object, uh, new organization. Um, click submit without entering any data. Expected results error modal to appear and screen to scroll to the top. All right, cool. Actual results um, old, not error modal. Error toast to appear old. Error modal appears. All right, cool. So yeah, the toasts work a lot better. Uh, we also don't have problems with uh, the toasts when dealing with modal. So for example, if you've got a modal up and there's something wrong with that modal, we don't have modals within modals, which just looks horrible. All right, so. Create, a, oh wait, I need to go, no priority. This will be a minor bug submitted. Signed to me, uh, this is part of, I'm just gonna go misc. We gotta copy this. Copy of this issue. So we've got Kanban board. Project requirement task. Ooh. Oh, damn. All right, accidentally did that. <clears throat> Uh, de depreciate error modal um, for new requirement. This is once again minor. This is just a bug. This is just in progress. Uh, this should be submitted and then to me. And then misc. issue and then um oh task all right 
cool. Easy done. Those, we can fly through those pretty quickly. Okay, I'm just making sure, yep, value is required. So far, dessert. So, all right, back to organization search. Da, da, da. Let's upload a profile picture. Oh, before I do, let's run this. And let's do that one. All right, cool. Let's add a contact. All right, add contact. <laughs> Fucking love it. Uh, oh, that's just a plain toast. Oop, all right, uh, take a screenshot. So we can easily fix that. So this will be um, updating customer gives plain toast. So method one, log into near beach. Two, um, nerve gate menu, find objects, um, customers. Uh, click on any customer to be taken to the um, customer information page. All right, click update customer. S expected results, uh, customer user to be notified that the customer has been updated. Toast to appear in success colors. Actual results, user is notified, but the toast is in plain colors. It, it wasn't put in the toaster, let's just say that. All right. That's another minor one. I'm not too worried about this. Uh, as for, this is customers. As for uh, the other, other ones we found, they will eventually become more normal and then major if I don't tackle them because we are depreciating the error modal. So that will be gone hopefully by 031. And we do want to start the 031 very shortly. Um, so yeah, let's let's go through this. So we should now be on far desert. If we update organization, there we go. That one's perfectly fine. Organize, actually let's. All right, so, um, not view page source. Sorry, I was meant to take a screenshot, copy. We have another bug. So depreciate error modal. It's not a bug once again for updating um, organizations. So method one, log into near beach to navigate the menu find objects, organizations, um, modify the data um, so it will fail the validation 
i.e emails not in email format uh, click on the update organization expected results organization um, user to get an error user to uh, get an error toast actual results user gets the error modal this needs to be depreciated yep easy done once again this is just a minor one nothing nothing bad about that um, yeah, easy to fix it's a problem. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of these I would spend probably about two hours fixing them all up and just doing a release. Then um, it could be the case that we put half a dozen in uh, the next release and so forth like that. However, I've been noticing that I've been pushing, making my releases bigger and bigger and bigger, which has been extending the time between releases. I should have pushed back the um, the object permission one back and done a release on Friday, for example, instead of spending all the weekend on Saturday being like, no, this is going to be a big task. Um, a lot of these I'm going to have to push back. So the object data will probably be the only one that gets pushed through with the next release. These three will probably be pushed uh, through in the release after that. Unless they're quick. Okay, my current issue. So we're back up to 12, but we're not too worried about that at all. Now we should do the same thing here. So, ooh. Perfect. It works perfectly fine. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. Validation doesn't happen on here. Uh, validation. does not work method one now this is a bit of a higher priority one log into near beach to uh, navigate the menu find objects and then customers and click on any customer to bring up the customer information page. Uh, ah, I did it again. Uh, modify the data to throw up validation issues. Um, click on update customer expected results uh, validation issues are reported actual results user gets 500 issue request was sent yep This is type bug, this is submitted, this is assigned to me, this is um, part of the customers. And we'll just hit create. Get rid of that star. All right, so we know that's gonna be an issue. Um, essentially when you hit update customer, it should pop up with a toast, uh, and also the validation issue, 
up here. It's a pretty quick and easy thing to fix. It's like a lot of these, I'm like, I could fix these right now and push them with the release, but no, they are not blocking the release we've got currently. All right, so I've done organization socks, stuff it. Sorry, my cat's knocking my mic across. Okay, you here. Okay, associated document uploads. We know about that issue. We do know if you do this and then refresh, does that. Um, okay, uh, associated objects, that's automatic. Uh, tags we don't have tags at the moment oh had note to organization We already have a bug to edit and delete notes and stuff like that. Um, what I'll also do now. There we go. I should also darken in this. Ooh. And thank you very much for the follow to Oped uh, Naked. Welcome, welcome. Terribly sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong. Okay, list of organizations. Let's get fucked desert. Uh, what was it doing? I was just having a quick look at that. That's working perfectly fine. Sweet. Ah, oh, we did do the tags. We can add in some tags right now. So default tag, we'll save that. Um, we will just quickly jump in, create this like this, add in the text being like, nah, we want the text to be like this. Uh, and then we've got default tag, delete. And then we're like, oh, we want to actually delete that tag. Error deleting tag. All right, um, not view page source, sorry, take a screenshot. Okay. Uh, you, uh, team leader can't, uh, no, can't delete, can't delete tags as team leader. All right. I'm specifying the user. I don't usually do that. Um, so yeah, just in case I do this again as an admin and I can't replicate the issue. And yeah, anyway, welcome, welcome um, to OPAD, to OPAD, Padre Naked. I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm terribly sorry. sorry, but welcome. I do hope you're enjoying my content. And I do like that little emoji you got there. The party time. Yeah, welcome. Method one, log into near beach to navigate the menu. Uh, we navigated it by going find Objects, tags. Um, double click on any tag. Click on delete. Expected results tag to be deleted. Actual results get a 500 error. All right. And I'm just gonna put the that so if. Oh no, Socks has just moved away. Um, she keeps knocking, my, if you're hearing little thuds, that's Socks knocking my um, little microphone. Don't worry about, uh, don't worry for the name. Tupadre uh, is actually Italian. Oh, Tupadre. Uh, all right, cool. But you got it pretty much right with the pronunciation. Oh, that's good. Nice work, thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. So, Getting this done, which is good. This is actually, this would be major bug. Yeah, getting there. Um, most of the bugs we're finding tonight are just minor bugs, which are fine. 
I'm not too worried about them. This bug I will have to fix a lot sooner rather than later. I was hoping the delete would work. I don't know if the save would work either. All right, user not be notified when saving. This would be a minor one. So method one log into near beach to navigate the menu, find objects, tags, um, double click on any tag, modify the data, save expected results tag save and user notified um, via toast. Actual results, tag save, user not notified. All right. This one, this one will be minor. Bug, tag. Oh, state um, submitted, sorry. Uh, no, that will be assigned to me. Now I type in tags. All right, cool, great. So yeah, a lot of these bugs, one day for me. Actually, I just wanted to double check that. If I add in that and it does update that, cool. And this alphabeticalizes everything, cool. So that's one thing I want to test out. A, uh, Z, and then let's go L, M, N, O, P. Okay. Cool, yeah. Should be alphabeticalizing stuff. All right, sweet, I'm happy with that. Now, list organizations, far desert. Let's go to misc. Let's add in a tag or two. That should just appear there perfectly fine. We're just refreshing. Oh, that's associated objects. Tags are in there. Perfect. All right, sweet. We tested the associated objects before. The document uploads. That's working as intended. There's my bike when I damaged that little gear down there or whatever at the cog ring down there. Jeez, that was um, annoying. Oh, and I just closed. All right, cool. Just meant to close that. All right. So we've done organization customers, the Kanban board. So shake out Kanban board. Got blocks, we're gonna get rid of one of those. We're gonna get rid of one of those. We are gonna add in the administration team. We're gonna add Kanban board. We're gonna add in a new card and we're gonna assign card to admin dark. And hey, the Bob I know, how are you tonight? Hopefully you're going well, welcome, welcome. We are just shaking out at the moment. Okay, that's working, that's working. Um, if I go blocked, save and close, cool, that works perfectly fine. However, if I do something like this, boom, uh, we got blocked. Uh, there's downloads, there's users. We're going to assign this to the dark admin, add user. All right, cool. So that adds that user into there. We've got block the notes, the description. All right, sweet. Uh, we're just adding in that, save and continue. Cool, we close that, we go here. We added a new card, new card. We go, this is the lowest. 
We move this in here, we go close, we double check this open, cool description, nothing, that is nothing, sorry there's no notes for this card, close, uh, yep, cool, description should have, ooh, alright, that is a bug. All right, it's working now. Description. Empty, wrong description. Empty, wrong description. Assign, all right. Did I just click on the wrong card? Okay, I can't replicate that. I must have clicked on the wrong card. Okay, link object. We've got a project. We want to link one of... Oh, we want to link one of those. And that will open up this. But also, if we go to link object, it links to there. We click on this. Now, that... Doesn't take us to our card. Oops, didn't want to expect. I wanted to take a screenshot. That might be something we could implement. Uh, linked card not um, opening modal for user. All right, cool. Method one, go to any object that has a card linked to it. Click on the card link. Expected results. Kanban board to, to load up. Card modal to load up shortly after page load. All right, and I'll give an example of what's gonna happen. Um, all right, actual results, Kanban, board loads, no modal. This would be a normal one, because I, I can see it being quite useful to people. Uh, this will be links, object links. Okay, cool. So if we actually get, let's say, a new card, we go, all right, sweet. We're going to actually add this particular team leader to it. So there is the team leader. If we actually go into the dashboard, you'll notice that we've got cards here. If we click on it, it does this. It takes us to the Kanban board and opens up that card. That's what we kind of want when we're coming from the projects. And that should be easy to actually implement. How we implement that is pretty simple. In the URL, you'll notice that we've got at the end of it, card and then the card number. So we can actually manipulate this. And let's say we wanted to open number three, we can open up number three. Now, one thing which I didn't realize is what happens if we open up links in here? Nothing. Perfect. Because we don't want it to open up those links. So yeah, that minor bugs. Oh, that, that is a normal bug, but a very quick and easy bug to fix. Now, in the case that we have, let's say uh, the morning sprint, and then we delete all of these. Uh, no, please remove cards. Yes, please remove cards. We're deleting all of those cards. We're going back to the Kanban board. We've got an empty one, the morning sprint. We add in a card, simple card, simple card. Okay, cool. And one thing which I like is that these numbers are updating. I'm gonna put it over there. We edit the Kanban board. We are gonna go the afternoon sprint. I realized I spelled that wrong. Back to camp and sprint, sprint. Yep, cool. Uh, yes, please. Yep, cool. Move those. That perfect. All right, sweet. 
that is working. Um, description, simple card, simple card, users. Oh, now that, yep, that's gone. Sweet, that's working how we want it to. Okay, sorry, um, when I delete those cards, these cards should remove from over here, which it is, which is great news. All right, shake, shake out Kanban board. We want to uh, next level. Uh, oops, sucks, careful. Sprint. All right, cool. So if we actually minimize this and hit refresh, it should say minimize, sweet. And if we minimize them all and refresh, perfect. Right, I'm happy with that. Yep, sweet. I'm trying to remember what else there is. Danger zone. Yep, let's just delete it. And if we actually end up going there. Um, this is actually closing, not deleting. We can still add groups and users to a closed Kanban board. You would think this would be closed, closed, as in like all of this information would be solidified. Um, the socks, do you mind? Thank you. And sorry, I'm trying to, in my head, what I'm trying to do between socks knocking the microphone away and being thinking, uh, uh, well, actually, ugh, sorry, socks is knocking the microphone away. And I'm trying to think, if we close this Kanban board, do we want to solidify this information? Do you want all this to be like, all right, it is now closed. The only thing we want a button on here is this. We don't want to create a public link. We don't want to create any of these. I mean, this is plausible. The other button that will be on here is back to the Kanban board. So, yes. It's one of those um, doozy things. And I think I think if we close this, we do want to close it off. Uh, we shouldn't, people shouldn't be moving Kanban boards and stuff like that around or assigning new groups and users to Kanban boards when it's closed or anything like that. So take screenshot, no, take screenshot, full, full page, copy, paste it in. So closed Kanban board can still have properties edited. All right, cool method one, um, search for a closed can fan board to um, edit the closed can fan board. Expected results. Um, User can only reopen board, reopen board, all other um, properties that can uh, cannot be edited. Actual results. Ab can edit anything. This one, we're gonna say normal. I don't foresee it blocking anyone or anything like that. It's really not causing too much harm. It's just, we should be doing this properly. All right. Don't sit on keyboard socks, thank you. 
All right. I don't have, oh, customers doesn't have a little thing. All right, cool. Sorry, that little uh, lacking of little thing there is annoying me. Okay, so otherwise, oh, sorry, I'm happy with all this. I'm happy with the Kanban board. Now, we won't be able to edit any of these, which is good. In reality, this edit note shouldn't be appearing, but it should be just notes. Users, yep, that's fine. Documents, that's fine. Public links. We should not be able to create public links. All right. Close Kanban board can still have public links created. Okay, so what's actually, um, for those that don't know, public links, what I can do is I can actually go there. It's new functionality. We do need to shake it out properly. But as you see, it creates a little snapshot of that particular card itself. Uh, that you can send to people and be like, all right, cool. This is this is the data. This is what you want and so forth like that. So people can be like, all right, cool. This is the information I need and so forth like that. Um, all right, socks. Stop it. Stop. No. No. I need my microphone. Yes. She's she's being naughty. There we go. There we go. We'll put her in uh, in focus. See what that looks like. Yep, there we go. There she is. You'll notice that she'll knock her um, knock the microphone away in a minute or two. We do need to test these out. I think this is working perfectly fine anyway. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Yawn. So, going in here. Closed campaign boards can still have public links created. Okay, cool. Method one, find a closed campaign board. Two, um, double click on a card. Yeah, I thought so. She, she never wants to do anything naughty whenever she's on camera. Double click on card. Go to the public links on the card, uh, create a public link. Expected results, board is closed, should not be able to create a public link. Actual results can create public link. Okay. Let's double click. Yep, let's just go at those all formatted perfectly fine. What we want is this, I'm gonna say normal. I mean, it's not harming anything. I don't see it being a problem. And you guys uh, just saw Socks knock the microphone away, didn't you? Yep, yeah, I can see the video feed. There she is, been like all smug about it too. So, yeah. No, that, 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 you stand bad. Alright. Okay. So we found 14 bugs. All normal and minor type of things. This is not going to be hard. Um, hell, give me a free afternoon and all of these would be fixed. Uh, like, yeah. I'm happy. All right, so I can't think of anything else for the Kanban board. I uh, gotta go to new project now. 
I'm gonna go create new project. If we wanna click, all right. One thing which I do wanna point out as a bug. It's very hard to read this. Once again, very easy bug to fix. Um, dark mode theme. Um, Creating an organization under new object. Hard to read. Method one, um, log into Nibich to create a new project. Okay, expected results under the stakeholder organization, the click here to create it should be clear in dark mode actual results very hard to read uh once again this is just simple sass sort of stuff so all i need to do is point it at a particular variable um and then it will just take care of that uh 15 minutes uh, priority, I'm going to say normal. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to say normal. Sorry, I got the cube again. I really should put this at the other side of the room and so forth like that. Okay, socks. Please. Calm down. Thank you. Alright, um that should just open up this. Now I shouldn't be able ah. Yep. All right, cool. And then, yep, value is required and so forth at that. Uh, no groups are included. No user groups are included. You will not have any permission for once this is submitted. So if someone does something like this, this is what we want to appear. That is great that that is there. That is a feature, uh, but you can still create the project. So if we pick something like this, ah, uh, yeah, it we have to have our group in the. Oh no, no, don't worry, no, no. I just haven't picked the date properly. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, I have to have my own group in them. Okay. I am... I'm going to have to change the message of that. Okay, so notify user they need one of their own groups for new objects. Okay, the above message should be modified to um, relay the information that the object requires one of their uh, groups otherwise the object cannot be created so it's just a bit of language once again uh, I'm gonna go normal with this one and hey hey crunch corn welcome welcome how are you how's the book El books 
is it books now or book well yeah how are you going i keep forgetting if it's one or multiple socks is here she's uh causing trouble you're good that is great to hear um for those that don't know oh, oh sorry it sucks ah <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to... Sox likes to uh, sit in the way of things. Uh, for those that don't know, Crutchcorn is writing a book. It's multiple books, but still editing the first one before moving on. Ah, fair enough. There we go. It, I knew it was multiple. Um, because I know you're doing one of the books where you're essentially doing stuff in React, Vue, and Angular, uh, and Svelte. I want to say, if memory, so, if my memory's terrible, so do correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah. Anyway, welcome, welcome. What were you doing on your stream? Uh, I'm assuming editing. No svelte yet. No svelte yet. All right, cool. But um, you might need a svelte check. Sorry, terrible joke. Terrible, terrible joke. Uh, coming from me, who constantly spells things wrong. Um, <laughs> you can. You can nick that joke. It's it's fine. Um, yeah, how are they going? Uh, but yeah, edited the book and added code embeds. Ah, nice. Yeah, cool. Uh, tonight we are just um, doing a checkout test. We're going to be doing a release later. We haven't found any critical bugs, which is great news. They're all being very minor bugs. So where, for example, one of the multiple of the minor bugs um, involves us depreciating the old error modal in favor of the toast modal. So just putting a little bug in there being like, hey, this is now time to actually fix this. And um, changing wording. Uh, for example, this particular alert here, uh, no user groups were included. We should change that to none of your user groups are included you will not be able to create this object as there are no sufficient permissions something like that so uh yeah i think which is great news because 030 uh branch was dealing with we wanted to deal with making this as stable as possible and fit fixing up the near beach flow and all that kind of stuff so yeah we're getting there uh, the bug method, sorry, message should be modified to relay the information that the object requires one of their groups. Otherwise, the object cannot be created. Let's uh, example. Uh, none of your user groups were included. Um, you will not have permissions to create this object. Please select one of your groups and I think that would be uh, a good enough message now I'm putting this as misc um, feeling really burnt out and energized to work on my books all at once ah it's like that thing where you got motivation but you sit down you look at it and you're like Ugh, I don't I don't want to deal with that right now I'm that with unit tests however I've gotten a lot better it's just because I've got to think about how um, how to get the business logic into a sort of format that the program can understand. Also, a lot of the times I find bugs when I <laughs> when I'm writing my own unit tests. So yeah. All right. So if we put in QA team, that should work. So this is a project we did just before. So we know this is working. Now I'm part of the QA team. It will allow me to add it in. Sorry, I just got a bit of socks fluff in my mouth then. But if I delete it and then refresh, I don't have access to this. Ooh, this is a bug. I keep doing that. I keep hitting view page source and says take a screenshot. Okay, cool. So we have an issue where 403 access denied page uh, does not have dark theme. 
the following screenshot shows the 403 error page does not have dark mode. All right, that's a, it's gonna be a normal, not a major, that's gonna be normal. That's gonna be bug, that's gonna be submitted. That's assigned to me, this is just misc. Um, and yep, yeah, random question. How close are you, or are you already dog fooding near beach? So I'm dog fooding near beach. I've been dog fooding near beach since I think um, 027, if memory serves me correctly. Um, however, back then I could only stay on one version because upgrading versions was actually a pain. Nowadays, it's not a pain at all, which is great news. So I can actually go into Azure and just be like, yo, I'm gonna be using this version. And it does it. So yeah, I'm on the latest version. So near Beach version 030030, uh, which is using Django 5.0. Uh, so yeah. And then when I do a release today or tonight, I will be uh, essentially upgrading this too. So yeah, I've been, um, been dog fooding it for a while. I know I've got two users because I get feedback from them and some of the feedback you can actually see. So uh, the, in, in the Kanban boards, this can drag cards, that flag was actually recommended by someone. Uh, also the ability to sort of minimize everything was also same person along with the little numbers there and the ability to actually save that sort of state um, was also done. Now that's not done in cookies. That's actually, that sends that information somewhere else and that somewhere else is like, all right, cool, presto, done. So yeah. Oh, all right. Ah, <laughs> cheers. Thank you very much, Crutchcorn, for the prime. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, for all money that this stream gets, whether it's through the advertisements or Prime or anything like that, actually goes towards Near Beach itself. We do have some overhead, but we're hoping that we get enough, we save up enough money and we get someone who's good at UI UX to come in and quickly do a couple of hours for us. So yeah, I assume it's too early, but uh, any chance you want a, what's the, I am terrible with acronyms. Sorry, this is my one weakness. Uh, my other weakness is I work on a MacBook and when I jump onto stream, I start using the MacBook uh, shortcuts. Accessibility, yes. Um, I would love one. Um, that would be awesome because I'll be able to steer that um, soon. Uh, this is, once again, Near Beach has constantly been improved and stuff like that. So yes, I will DM you. I am, do I have you on Discord? I've, I know I've got your Discord in Discord, so I can find you through that. So yes, definitely. Thank you very much. That would be appreciated. Socks is also wandering around like there's no tomorrow at the moment. I don't know if you can tell uh, black on black type of thing, but all right, cool. She's calming down. Why are you pacing? All right, are you gonna be good? Yeah, she's cute. She just, I think, I don't know if she's stressing out or she knows when I talk for long periods of time, I give her treats. So I don't know if I've conditioned her to that. And she's getting bored and now pacing for the treats. But yeah, if I sit her like that and pat her like that, she'll um, hopefully calm down. So yes, anyway, that is, that is a bug. Um, all right. So yeah, we've just been finding very minor ones. A lot of this, yeah, I'll be able to fix quick. So new project, new project. Let's actually, we don't really need to test this, the tiny mouse stuff, but I just wanted to, play around with it. Um, you project, let's upload a picture of socks. And then we've got all of that. We've got all of that. We've got that. We're going to click for this. I actually, do I have a picture of socks in here? I've got a picture of Max instead. 
All right, that one doesn't work. Now this is in production mode, so I don't know if I get console logs. Failed to get dimensions for image. Okay. I'm gonna say that is a bug. Uh, how many hours do you work uh, on this week, do you reckon? Um, well, considering the week's just started, so I work some, I think about four or five hours on the weekend. And then I'll probably work about four hours today. I probably won't do anything tomorrow just because I'm cycling to and from work and that's 36 kilometers one way. So I'm pretty exhausted after that. Wednesday will be another four hours. Uh, Friday will be another four hours. So there's 16. Uh, so yeah, between eight and 20 hours a week, I would guess I work on near beach. I did have a little break over the Christmas, but uh, when I say a little break, I did work on it. I just didn't work on it as much as I wanted to. Uh, I just needed to rest the brain, so to say. So yeah. Um, I know I work a lot more during certain times of the year. Um, but yeah, I think at the moment, <laughs> I'm getting to that point where, yeah, that's a bug. All right, I need, I need to fix that. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's almost time for me to actually take a proper holiday. Stop being relatable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where I, I saved up my leave over Christmas because I know I want to go to Japan this year, but I also know that I want to go somewhere warm, just in the, what, what I like to call the grey nomad season. So in Australia, um, we used to go caravan um, camping quite a bit. So just, you know, living in a caravan for about three weeks. So you got the Christmas caravan period, then you got the late, uh, sorry, the mid to late January period, and then in February and March you got what we like to call the Great Nomad season. It's when the grandparents have grown up, they've got the toddlers, so they take toddlers with them um, and stuff like that. So the parents are back at work, and uh, it's really cheap sort of traveling because you no longer have the holiday prices and stuff like that. So I kind of want to go during that period. Um, I'm wanting to take a week off work to focus on the book. Ah, oh, fair enough. Like, uh, just go insane on it. Uh, 60 to 80 hour a week. Holy hell. Do you find uh, sometimes when you sit down, you just um, like completely focus on it? Or are you type one of those people that will get up and walk around and so forth like that? I'm one of those people that whenever I need to write, I need to get up, walk around, constantly say the thing in my head and all that kind of stuff. I'm not the best writer ever. You can tell how uh, lack of writing skills I have by just reading the blogs of Near Beach. They're not, they're not the best. Um, I will admit that, but it's improvement. I'm slowly improving. So uh, upload image in tiny mouse missing the dimensions of said image. So method one, um, log into near beach to uh, create a new project. To be honest, I've uh, been really changing that lately. Uh, what you're saying about being able to sit down and write, I wasn't able to do for the longest time yet. And sometimes I just get, I like to call it the uh, the static noise. The words just don't come at all. I'm like, I want to explain this idea, this idea, this idea. I have a general link of how to link them, but it's just static. And uh, then I wrote all of these in one week. I'll just put them over here. Uh, one blog, <laughs> holy hell. Uh, 1500 words, roughly posts a day, damn. Damn. 
Well, that's cool. I should I should do some. Oh, actually, no, that's a video. Yeah. I am probably going to read that later. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know how I managed, but then over the holidays, I wrote two blog posts in one night. Jeez, <laughs> all right. Um, I know I do, sorry, socks, can you, thank you. I know I, um, what I try to do with the blogs, So I like to do what I wanna do this month and a retrospective. So for example, um, I will have this, uh, the aims, improvements, uh, new features and so forth like that. And then I will, I don't know if I'm logged in here. And then I'll have like the retrospective and stuff like that. What I achieved and so forth. And I usually write them at the end of the month. So yeah, I understand two, two blog posts in one night. All right, create new project in Tiny Mouse Editor, upload an image using the widget itself, not drag and drop. Um, expected results, image to upload, actual results, get an error, image has no dimensions. Okay, cool. And then what I want to do is, Press every wrong button and then take a screenshot. And then, I hate when that happens. It's the one thing I don't like about how this is set up. It's hard to actually get to this image sometimes. Oh, be careful, socks. Oh. Do I have drafts? Yes, I do. Thank you. Socks is cheeky. She likes to sit on my mouse and press the buttons. Or she'll headbutt the mouse and press buttons. She just wants help. So, yeah. All right, so we've got this, yep, yep, yep. So the, the good news is it is actually uploading the image that forward slash private forward slash that UUID means that the image uploaded successfully. It's just not getting the width and height back. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure out what's gone wrong there. Now this, this will be, I'm gonna say major just because I feel like someone would use that and it just won't work and they'll get frustrated. There is a workaround we're gonna test out right now. Uh, this will be downloads. So this is the first major problem we've had, which is great. We've only had one tonight. Now I wanna go pictures. I wanna just go, let's say profile pictures. All right, let's go new project. I'm just gonna refresh this page. And I'm just gonna drag this one down. Yeah, had the same issue. But 404, not found. Oh, I think I'm gonna move this up to um, critical. No, major still. Cause it should have got that image. Yeah, it should have got that image. Okay. 
Um, how do you do testing? End to end. So, I've got a couple of things that I do. So, I've got, because um, back end's Django, front end's Vue.js. I've got unit tests for both of those. Um, so, the back end uses Django's built in system. The front, uh, the front, the Vue.js front end uses um, Jess. Uh, uh, Vite. Vitesse, however you pronounce it, uh, uh, Vitesse, which is built off Vite or Vite. Um, as for the end-to-end -end test, I use Playwright. So, uh, if I spelt that right, no, I didn't. So I use Playwright. At the moment, with the end-to-end -end tests, I will need to actually sort of sit down and um, do them properly. <laughs> Let's just say I don't have enough tests at the moment. Uh, the the tests really, I can in fact show you. Won't take me too long to show you. There's not many tests. So if we go to tests, uh, end to end. Uh, oh, socks. Careful. Shake out. So with the auth setup, I've got two credentials. I've got the admin and dark admin. What I'll actually end up doing is putting in more credentials as time goes on. Um, and then what I will do at the moment is essentially check every page load. So I've gone through and I'm, I've just making sure every single page loads and I take a screenshot of it. I make sure that there's no um, console warnings or anything like that. Um, and I make sure I just, that's just, ex that's just waiting for the, uh, to disappear, the loader to disappear. I had issues where the page would load, take a screenshot and load it halfway up the page, <laughs> uh, which I found funny. <laughs> So yeah, that's all that does at the moment. Uh, and it just prints out it in both light and dark mode. So if I've got test results, I'm not gonna jump through them because I know some people will most likely have a seizure, but uh, yeah, that's just what actually happens. So yeah. Uh, playwright, um, it's what generate these for us. Unicorn, generate, what is the, I will move. Ah, nice. What is rat? Um, cool. So you get, how do you, um, playwright is what generates these for us. How do you get it to generate all that? Do you just have like a bunch of different pages and do what I do and just go to them? Ah, cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those things I do need to move a lot of this testing into. So, um, I know that there'll be some things I need to manually test. For example, uploading images and so forth like that. That's just because there's so many moving parts. So, yeah. Build script social. Alright, I'm going to move that over there. Uh, this is how we generate them. Build runtime script. Ooh. Render post image. All right, layout, extend to post string. Okay, cool. Relative to root. A lot of this is going over my head at the moment, we'll admit. Um, but that's just because I have not dived into uh, Playwright properly. So for um, post of get all extended posts in English, um, if Post is a social image, uh, await uh, post render image, Twitter preview. Ah, okay, so we wait for the Twitter to come through and all that kind of stuff. Ah, neat. Uh, get extended post banner. Ah, cool. Um, this rip is how we generate build it. Um, that renders a React blog image, HTML, CSS, and then screenshots. Ah, nice. So the fun part of this is that um, we have a live server in server, um, live servers TS, uh, which allows us to run a web page of generated images to preview that any post looks like live. Oh, neat. Well, that's kind of cool. Ooh, ooh. 
All right, I'm going to uh, this. Sorry, I'm also at the same time thinking if I, yeah, I'm going to create a new Im and be like upload tiny mouse image, upload image to new object um, causes error, a uh, 404. Method one, log into near beach to create a new project. Uh, drag and drop an image into the tiny mouse editor. Okay, expected results. So the idea is uh, when you drag a image into there, it's meant to send something off to the back end. So there's the image, uh, but it sends what's called uh, a UUID, which will connect to this particular project. Um, whenever we that your UUID is in the back end, but um, due to some logic in the back end, this the permissions should be bypassed for this particular image until I hit save. Um, did someone say UUID? Yes. Uh, I have a weird obsession with you, your ideas are fair enough. I mean, I like them. I like them. Uh, which allows us to run web pages of generated images to preview what any post looks like live. Uh, oh yeah, wait, I read that one already. So, um, there was an old issue which I was having where I couldn't upload an image to a new object because um, in the back end I needed the objects the object ID and the object description. So if it was a project and the project ID uh, to actually assign that particular upload to that particular object. So that way someone who doesn't have permission to that particular object doesn't see that image and so forth like that. So what I did was a created UUID, which is temporary. It gets assigned to the object um, and flags that, hey, this is a temporary object. People should be able to see it until it finally gets assigned correctly. So yeah, I am technically a contributor to the new UUID version six to eight spec by uh, correcting typos and such. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, typos are very important. I once had, I once spelled label like this. So I had uh, L A B L E and then I had a bunch of like stuff in there. And I think it took me half an hour trying to find it. Um, it was throwing up errors and I couldn't understand why my errors were being thrown up yet. Yeah. Absolutely terrible spelling mistake. Brought down a part of near beach. Those are the worst I know. I can never find them. My brain just instantly um, corrects the word. Okay, cool. So what we need is expected results image to not have 404. Actual results. Oh, Sox's tail is in the way again. Sweetie, your tail. Thank you. Actual results, um, image is 404, um, user permissions not set up, uh, user bypass. Bypass permissions not set up correctly. So yeah, um, talking about unit tests and all that kind of stuff, I will be working with the unit tests on the uploads properly. Now I'm going to put this as critical. I'm going to move both of those to critical. Um, just because this does affect people in a very negative way. So we have found two critical issues, but that's fine. I don't think they'll stop us from doing a release tonight. We can easily put those two critical issues on the next version. So we'll put them on uh, 03032. Ah, oh, just scratched the hell out of this. Uh, anyway, talking about unit tests, let's go to Circle CI. Let's go to application. Sorry, success. All right, it's finally logged in properly now. Um, 
build and test backend. Artifacts, index, index. I should have opened that in a new tab. So we'll be going through this very shortly and going, all right, anything down here will probably um, add in more unit tests and so forth like that. So public views, Kanban, column views, and all that kind of stuff need a bunch of unit tests in there. We also need to put unit tests around the document views. So, um, We'll need to figure out how to do a unit test for the Czech client S3. Uh, that might be a very difficult one to sort of do because we need credentials. I mean, we can do the failed one pretty easily. So if we put in wrong credentials, it should fail. But as for this particular one, oh, uh, yeah, so we'll be going through and sort of um, make sure all this sort of works and so forth like that. Because, yeah, we don't want problems where a user p pushes a new image in here and it just doesn't work. This was working before. Don't know why it's not now. Uh, I don't know if I do something like this and hit create new project. It won't reappear. So yeah, something's gone wrong massively. And if I delete that, let's actually see. Let's go profile pictures. Let's move the calculator in. Let's update project. That did work, but if I hit refresh, it didn't quite work. Because it's trying to re-upload the image now. Okay. So something's gone r terribly wrong. This is working. Uh, I forgot how to get to... I think it's 9,000. 9,001. Log in, near beach private. This is on my local, by the way, so I'm not worried about any of this being shown. Uh, all right. So if we go to documents, that is there though. Huh. Okay, I think those two bugs definitely we'll have to have a look at them during this week. Uh, we need to actually go through and yeah, make sure that they're working perfectly fine. All right, so continuing on with project. If we go closed and update project, that will actually close everything off. Cool, project is currently closed. But if we go backlog, it will reopen it. Uh, that's part of the near beach flow, so that's a new feature. So the idea being is we had a problem where people couldn't reopen it, and we're like, all right. And we also had another problem where we wanted people could want different statuses and so forth like that. So we needed to key them in. Uh, we will also be adding in the administration function where you can actually edit these statuses and so forth like that. Uh, we are also um, going to have the ability so that they're orderable so you can put in an order and that will work perfectly fine so I'm getting distracted by the cube again all right so if we want to go in progress it just opens everything up cool 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 uh, update project that works perfectly fine uh, now adding in the groups and stuff like that. Ooh, admin group. Yep. That works perfectly fine. Adding in users to this project. 
That works fine. Let's remove the admin user. Let's make sure this project five appears on the dashboard. So project five, yep, it is assigned to me. And we've just found another bug. Uh, it's the status. Uh, this will be <sighs> dashboard project status not appearing correctly. This is very easy to fix. Yeah, uh, this will be a back end thing to fix. So yeah, won't take long. Sorry, I'm just stretching. Oh, cracking and everything. All right. Um, when a user is assigned a project, the status is not shown correctly on the dashboard. Okay, cool. This will be a normal, normal bug assigned to me, dashboard. Um, we won't put a version against it at the moment. We'll just create it. Okay, so we found 20 bugs tonight. Um, once again, a lot of these are just going to be simple, simple bugs. We'll probably just have a night of, let's see how many bugs we can uh, crunch. Uh, it might get to the point where um, over like a week or something like that, I'll uh, see how many bugs I can crunch in a week and do a release every day. That would be fun. Okay, cool. So everything's showing here perfectly fine. We've got add users to project. Yeah, all right. Um, just also making sure, yep. Documents, folder, private folder. Uploading the bike, yep. Cool, yep. Uh, project links. Let's get to a task. Let's say it is parent object of that particular task. So, is parent object of that task? Let's jump into this task. Linked object is sub object of that. Yep, all right. That is working perfectly fine. My god, that took forever to actually. Um, get correct i remember that taking weeks we had that diagram i don't think the diagram's on this computer that's how old it is all right the diagram's on my laptop so wait i'm just trying to find the diagram at the moment all right do 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 all right that's that diagram. That's how old um, getting that done is. So I'm glad that's all sorted. It's, uh, ooh, it's parent object status is not appearing there either. So take screenshot. Actually, let's. Uh, relates to. I'm just making sure it isn't just one thing. Yeah, all right. Uh, so we're done task, requirement item. Okay, it's just the task. Okay, won't be, once again, this is a very quick and easy bug to fix. Um, it didn't, it pasted it and then it just removed it. All right, sweet. So linked objects, tasks, um, not showing the status correctly. Uh, the following, following uh, linked objects, tasks uh, are missing the correct status. Oh, I did it again. All right. I'm glad this has the draft mode. Uh, this is normal. This will be bug. This will be submitted, assigned to myself. Uh, subsystem. This will be misc. Uh, links, I think. 
Object links, uh, we don't have a version for it yet. Let me go back to current issues. I'm just unstarring these just because I don't like, don't like the stars. So we've got 25 issues in there now. Once again, a lot of these will just uh, crunch through and stuff like that. We've also got to think about uh, 031. Uh, we are getting really, really close to 031. I want to make sure that there are no critical major um, bugs in there. Whether or not we sort of remove the normal ones to, um, I'll have a think, but it might be one of those sort of things where I move, remove the normal bugs during the release of 031. Uh, hopefully 031 won't take as long. So if anyone remembers last year when I was doing, uh, I've got to bring that screen back. Uh, last year when I was doing uh, the 030 release, I started, I do believe it was a year ago to this day. Oh, just wait, just wait. Um, what, what, what is it? Uh, Patreon. I think I uh, figured this out. Because I had to update all the Patreon people. Uh, do, 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 do. Update all deployment accomplishments of... Alright, that's... That's old, that's old. Finances. Um, October retrospective. All right. Um, fun fact, we've done 19 releases since, all right, on January the 7th. So, um, ah, just one day older. Uh, we released the last version of uh, 029 and we spent the next seven months it was working on the 030 branch. Uh, we are hoping it won't take that long at all. We are hoping it's, we're hoping that it will, um, yeah, hoping it won't take that long. <laughs> so, um, one of the reason why it, the 030 branch took so long was it was focusing mainly on uh, making it stable, making the beach as stable as possible. We kept, we kept doing these shakeout tests. We kept finding issues. We kept, we kept finding major and critical issues and so forth like that. And we kept fixing them. Uh, we spent a lot of time dealing with it, um, which is the best thing we ever did. Um, but then again, once we had it released, we actually sort of steamrolled out quite a lot of releases. We're at 03030 now. Um, we're going to release 03031 tonight. There are no critical issues that are blocking it, apart from the fact that we can't upload images for new objects, which is annoying. But that will, um, we'll do that in the next release. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. I just wanted to talk. Cool. So we fixed that issue. Customer. Let's add a customer. Let's add so socks, fluffy butt. There's there's a lovely picture of. Uh, if for those that don't know, I love love Persona Five. I will admit this this image is hilarious, absolutely hilarious, and I'm gonna have to replicate it. Um. <laughs> All right, the bugs, we actually don't have any bug clients connected up, so we're not gonna be testing that. We do need to actually get um, some more bug clients connected up to Near Beach. We initially were thinking about connecting up um, Mantis, which still can probably happen. We want to also re re reset up our Bugzilla, um, just as a testing environment. We also want to see if U-Track will connect to this. Uh, the idea being is sometimes you just want to connect your bugs into these tasks and projects and so forth like that. So, yeah. Uh, misc, assign a tag. We can assign multiple tags. Oops. And delete them. Yep, uh, public links, we can create a public link, so we can actually copy that. 
and we have a public link for this. Now, remember, this doesn't show everything. This just shows the description and so forth like that and where the status is. Now, the public link status, that's wrong. All right, cool. Taste screenshot. And for those who uh, hate light mode, sorry, <laughs> that's a default thing. Okay, sorry, socks. Sorry, sorry. Can I just need my keyboard, sweetie? I need a cat cam. I need a camera that just follows her around so people know what she's doing. So public links, um, project status is incorrect. So this would also affect tasks most likely. Um, please note um, the status is a number. This should be, should be a, um, This should be a, this should be text. All right, this is minor. It's the public links. I'm just gonna put this in as a public links. All right, close that, uh, close that. We can close that. We can close this also, but yeah, we, actually, before I do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, there's a number of these where I just want to, these particular ones I wanna boost up to at least 70%. These ones are fine. The 88s, we're not worried about anymore. The 75s, we won't worry about until later. Yeah, it's these level ones we want to worry about. I don't think, um, I think there's going to be a couple of unit tests for this. Won't, yeah, a lot of this, a lot of those unit tests won't take long to write. Okay, cool. Um, all right, move that. All right, easy done. Well, just ah, oh, oops, submit note. Now that's looking good. Once again, we're gonna, there's a bug being like, hey, we don't have the ability to edit this or anything like that. We will get to that. And we'll probably reutilize this component or have a separate component. We'll, we'll figure it out. So yeah. All right, so I'm happy with project information. Uh, let's do new requirement. So the requirements part of NearPeach uh, deals with user requirements. So this is gathering user requirements. Now the requirement should actually be a more of a helicopter view of what you're doing. Whereas the requirement items are the more detailed stuff. Uh, and then from the requirement items, what you would do is you'll be looking at them and being like, all right, we need to create a couple of tasks for this. They need to be assigned out to these particular teams and so forth like that. Remembering with Near Beach, um, teams are actually groups, sorry. I should just use the words groups instead of teams. So um, you'll create a bunch of different tasks and projects for different groups. With Near Beach, um, you can have multiple groups assigned to a particular task or project or anything like that. It's um, group collaboration. It's a big, uh, big thing with Near Beach, being like certain groups will work with groups before. So a good real life example of this was when I was working at the university, I worked with multiple different groups within IT and so forth like that. We want to follow that sort of same logic here. I know it doesn't happen, well, it hasn't happened to me so much in the dev world, but usually I've been working in such a small sort of companies and so forth like that. 
that we haven't been large enough to have those sort of teams. Uh, that being said, I would have worked with a graphics person and all that, all that kind of stuff. Would have worked with an account manager and yeah. Uh, stakeholder. All right. Let's actually just make sure. Yep. Cool. Yep, that's working as intended. We won't put a bug in for that particular thing. Oh. We will actually go through every single one of those and actually change that. So yeah, that won't that wording will be perfectly fine. I don't think there is a co separate component for that. Oh, I don't have that edited. Yeah, I don't think I've got that in a separate component, but that wording what I'll do is a find and replace. So if I get rid of that, no group user groups included, you won't have any permissions. Yeah, I think we'll fix that up. So yes, uh, there's Far Desert. Let's update their profile picture. Associated objects, we've got a simple requirement this is what we were editing. Down here, I'm not so fussed with all of this working or not working. It should just work the same as the projects. The only difference is it's sending um, the destination as project. Uh, sorry, as requirement information. And that's the only difference. All right, requirement items. This is different. This is where we'll create a um, user requires a drop down box user requires a drop down box now i do believe the images should work here see it works here because it's got that information so something's wrong with a project side of things um could be something very very simple or more complicated Okay, testing uh, constraint. All right, I'm gonna upload an image here. There's Max. Yeah, it's this one that didn't work. Okay. So I'm just gonna do that again. So it's got a 403. Oh, token is missing. All right. Ah, wrong button. Okay. Um, upload image to a new object. Upload image to tiny mouse. Upload image to tiny mouse produces 403 CSRF token missing. All right, cool. Now this one might cover everything. That should appear, that should appear, that should appear. Come on, appear. It's right there. Waiting. All right, I'm just gonna move on. Um, the CSRF token is having issues when uploading an image against a tiny mouse. Uh, not all tiny mouse are having an issue. We were able to upload an image against a new requirement item all right yeah this is critical this is a bug so we submitted this is assigned to me uh this is part of the downloads and uploads and this is definitely part of the next version we are going to create we are also going to link all of those image issues together 
so I'm going to link issues. We're going to put um, tiny mouse in there. No, all right, cool. Oh, we're going to put in near beach. Oh, uh, which is it? This one. Link issue. Hey, socks. Near Beach, Twilight, and debt. And thank you very much, Batman2K, for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Welcome, welcome. I do hope you are enjoying my content. So, yeah. All right. Cool. So, I've just linked all of those. Don't know why it's working down here, but not up here. So, I will have a proper look. In fact... Let's just network this one out right now. So we can drop the bike in. And we type in some information. I think I know why it's working. It's because it doesn't send that information until I hit save and then it sends it. But if I go into here, it's gonna throw up a, 30, a 403. Yeah, all right. So what's actually happening is, um, You'll actually save that require that image against the document itself instead of uploading it. And then when you go to that, it properly does it. All right. So when you hit save, you'll notice that it sends 159 kilobytes, which is oh. Um. Yeah, we need to fix that. New requirement item not sending uh, new images to backend. So method one, um, log into near beach to um, go to an existing requirement. Three, uh, create a new requirement item off the requirement in the the tiny mouse editor drag and drop an image expected results uh, the network tab will show the image is being uploaded to the back end and eventually will send the front end the completed Product, uh, completed location. Actual results does nothing. When user saves, it saves the image as base 64 into the database. Alright, cool. Priority. Um, this one, we're going to go normal. Uh, mainly because at the moment nothing's really broken this will work perfectly fine unless someone uploads a huge image um, so yeah so I'm gonna go requirement items and go create and I'm gonna unstart all of those all right the documents will still work. That will, yeah. By technicality, this is a very... This is minor, a very minor issue. Requirement, um, update requirement. Button wrong on requirement item information. All right, what is wrong? So, button should be uh, right aligned. And also it needs text should be update item or update requirement item. Cool. 
It's a minor. Alright. I did joke. Did I joke that there'll be 30 by the end of the stream? <laughs> Bugs? So, yeah. Ah, well. Um, excluding the tiny mouse issues, I reckon a lot of these will will probably end up doing quite a lot of them very, very quickly. Um, so I am not scared at all. I feel like a lot of them will be done for the release for 031, which would be exciting. So another thing with 031 is we want to automate the... Um, the release process so what will actually happen is when I do a release it will pretty much do a deployment to PYPI it'll do a um, it'll do it'll make sure it will deploy the static files it will also get docker um, deploy to docker or docker hub so hopefully that will be an automatic process and all I need to do is just make sure all the unit tests and end-to-end -end tests run perfectly fine. We're also getting the end-to-end -end tests up onto um, Circle CI. So, yeah. Yeah, so fingers crossed. All right, sorry, just quickly. Uh, Yeah, doing this. All right, so might once again, that's just a nitpicking. A lot of this is just nitpicking. So if I go review, hit refresh. Okay, cool. If I go finished, there we go. It locks everything down for this particular one. Uh, no, it doesn't create public link. I feel like this will be fixed with another bug that we've got. Yeah, um, not view page source. Close requirement item still can have uh, public link created. Uh, the item is closed. All um, properties should be closed. That's it. Okay. So that's normal. Bug submitted. Assigned to me. Um, crime and items. We don't have a version link issue. We do have public. Public links project status is incorrect. I don't know the other link, so I'm just going to create it. All right, up to 30 bugs. All right, can't create no notes. Let's put this back to testing. Let's go notes. Let's create a note. Um, hello world. Welcome to Near Beach. No, one other thing which I got to test. I didn't test this in notes at all. Is can we actually? I don't know if that's upload because of this or this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. I'm going to hit upload. I'm going to hit refresh. I'm going to go down to our notes and I'm going to inspect this blob localhost. All right, so that is working. All right, cool. Just going to move that there. 
All right, so I'm happy with this one. Go back to the requirements. Uh, requirement links, ooh, we should. Links. Let's link this to a task. So that, if we click on requirement links, that item should be linking properly. I'm gonna link this one also to something. So I'm gonna link it to a project. Two projects. Why isn't the first one, and that nut is wrong. Because it's a task? Alright, so we've got two bugs here. Okay, new task. Uh, requirement links not showing tasks. Okay, method one, log into Near Beach to navigate to an open requirement. Under the requirement, go to a requirement item. Add a, add multiple links, both tasks and projects. Go back to the requirement, check the li a requirement item links expected results both the project and task links to appear actual results only the project links appear oh and thank you very much for the follow Ultron, welcome, welcome. I do hope you are enjoying the content. I just realized you're in an ad break. I will wait and say this again after the ad break in case you didn't hear. All right, uh, do, do, do six more seconds. I'm gonna say this is a major one. I'm gonna say this is a bug. I'm gonna say it's submitted. I'm gonna assign to me. I'm going to go requirements for this one because it's under requirements and the ad break has finished. Thank you very much Ultron for the follow. I am hoping you are enjoying the content. So yes, welcome, welcome. Let's create this. Let's go new status. Uh, a requirement links not showing status correctly uh, so um, method one log into near beach to go to an open requirement three scroll to the requirement links uh, expected results links to show correct status actual results um, statuses are numbers. Uh, this is normal. This is just a bug. This is submitted. Assigned to me. This is part of requirements. Okay, correct. Uh, we can also create a link in here. So we are going to connect a project and a status, uh, sorry, a task. That prior bug we're going to put in here too. So, um, oops. We're going to be like, also apply, uh, applies to both, to both. Requ uh, requirements and requirement items. So, yeah, easy. Once again, no problem to fix. We just need to reference the correct thing. We fix it in one place, it'll just fix everywhere. Um, yeah, a lot of these bugs, apart from those, uh, the, once again, 
a lot of these bugs will be very easy and quick to fix. Uh, the main problem, um, sorry, the ones that will be more trouble is the tiny mouse ones with the uploads. I feel like if it is a CSRF token issue, it might take a little while to fix. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, document. Let's upload a document. Let's just be. Let's armed with calculators. Presto. There we go. Customers. We can add in uh, socks again. There she is. Bugs. We don't have bugs. Uh, misc. And public links. And there's our public link. And another bug. So, ba ba ba. Public link for requirement status. Requirements. have issues with status and type. Um, should not be numbers, but text. Oh, sorry, I just, so much. <laughs> sorry, it sucks is um, fluffed everywhere and it, it lands on my nose and it tickles like there's no tomorrow. Okay, uh, public links. and create. All right, sweet. And what we could do is we can actually deactivate that. We should have done this. All right, that is a more serious issue. Deactivated public link still works. Um, if we deactivate a public link or, uh, it should stop working. All right, cool. Um, the above link work, but, but Double checking, just uh Oh, hang on a minute. I don't know what that error was about. But yeah, that should be gone. So that will be a major one. Public links. Okay, cool. If we delete it. Yeah, sweet. So deleting, it will remove it completely. Notes, um, adding in a simple note. Oh, I should do that correctly. There we go. All right, requirement information done. Let's do task. Um, so we've just got a simple task. Make sure that this is, yep. All right, uh, the stakeholder thing should also, we've got one for that already. I think this is a little component if memory serves me correctly. So we fix it in one place, it'll fix it everywhere. Um, all right. Sorry, getting distracted with the cube again. Um, all right. So just filling everything out, heading, hello world, we are here, smiley face. All right, far desert, QA team, yep, sweet. 
Okay, oh, I should have done one more thing. I should have removed this and selected. All right, sweet, That that's working as intended. Got the Far Desert logo there. We've got so forth like that. We might add in logos and stuff like that. Little profile pictures that, that maybe, I don't, not sure. Uh, documents, we're pretty happy with that. The linked objects, let's link in a couple of tasks. Let's go is currently blocked by that. So if we go there, it should be is blocking, uh, is currently blocking. Yep, sweet. Uh, documents, customers. All right, add customer. Socks the fluffy butt, there she is. Bugs, misc, assign tags. So a lot of this we're pretty happy with. Um, oh, miss, create public task. Let's copy that. Let's paste that in. Yeah, task status, take screenshot. All right. Public link tasks not showing correct. Status. All right, I'm just going to leave it as that. It's self-explanatory. Uh, this is normal. This is bug. Submitted. Progress. Um, public. Public links. Let's create. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then the notes. Let's add in some notes. Adding in some wonderful notes. Let's add in an image. Let's uh, add in, yeah, because it's it's the best image. Submit note. Okay, cool. So we're actually happy with tasks. Uh, a lot of this, we actually delete something and go update task. Can you please fill out the form correctly? All right. Let's copy this. Uh, task inf information using the old error modal. Um, method one, log into near beach to navigate to an open task. Three, um, remove the title and for submit um, expected results user to be informed informed I can't spell at the moment informed by the uh, toasts that there is a validation issue um, actual results user not informed uh, user informed by by, mo by old modal. Okay, header. Really? All right, I'm just gonna hit create. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Need to do this. Uh, this will be normal. This will be bug. This is submitted. Assigned to me. Um, task. All right. No version at the moment, and let's go create. Now, um, uh, countdown timer. I need. Yep, 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 yep. All right, all right, give me two minutes. I'm just gonna grab myself some water, make sure the cats are both inside and all that kind of stuff. So I won't be long.
I'm just gonna. Okay, I gotta turn on the lights. What? <laughs> yeah, easy done. Cool. V clock. Alright, I tell you what, I am actually going to bookmark that. Save. Alright, and hey, Sandy Lee, how are you? Yeah, 24. Oh, yeah, 24. Just saved it there. How are you today? Alright. We are doing a massive shakeout of Near Beach. You going good? Oh, that's great to hear. Um, yeah. I know you did the issue you were having. You had a race condition issue, which you got solved, which is also great news to hear. Okay, so I'm now done with tasks. I now need to shake out requests for change. So if I hit next, it's gonna have an issue. Sorry, we're being told that some of the data is not passing validation. Um, check this data. Yeah, cool. Oh, all right. RFC validation. We have two issues. It is unclear what fields on this tab are not validated. Missing the validation. Uh, good. Now the problem is I don't want to do some Python learning and coding now. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, sorry, I've just got a tablet right in front. Um, oh, Python's not too hard to learn. Uh, the best way I can put it is Python is slightly more complicated pseudocode. All right, uh, duh, duh, duh. this is, we're gonna go normal. We're gonna go bug, we're gonna go submitted, assigned to me, and this is a request for change. All right, creating one. We're also going to put out RFC um, errors. New RFC, new, new RFC error toasts um, disappear too quickly. Uh, currently, the toasts for the new RFC are uh, only appearing for a second. It might be better to make them appear for at least five seconds. Five to 10 seconds. Uh, this is normal. It's a one line fix, this one. We are being very pedantic with this. Um, I'm trying to get, uh, do this, uh, oh yeah, the, uh, Pyexel, um, game engine stuff done. How are you going with it? Have you been able to make something move around yet? Okay, that's created. Oof, 38 bugs. Alright, um... All right, this one is fine. We hit that, we're like, sorry, I've been told the data is not passing validation. Um, it might be an idea when we hit next for it to actually go up to the top of the page, much like that. Uh, need to create pixel art first. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. 
Yeah, validation on implementation player. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, take a screenshot. There is a little bug there. Once again, being very pedantic about this. Um, even I can't read that at the moment. Update change lead. Uh, dark mode. RFC information. Um, update change lead. Hard to read. Um, Please note the um, update change lead is extremely hard to read. Uh, just going through this very, very quickly. Request for change. Okay. So we're getting quite a number of bugs. If I if a lot of these were very, very quick bugs and I was able to do uh, five, five per release, let's say I do, that would be 35, but if I do six, it would be 42. I mean, yeah. So I'm just thinking, uh, because I don't like to do releases with more than five bugs fixes in them, even though I break that a few times. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering how fast I can get these out and so forth like that. It might be one of those cases where I just, if I sit down and a lot of these bugs are really one line fixes and stuff like that. And I just keep doing as many as I can, as quickly as I can, and then just do a release that day. Then the next day I'll do the same thing and stuff like that. And absolutely just crunch these. That would be good. But first I gotta do the criticals. So, yeah, and yeah, a lot of this is me being very pedantic about certain stuff. So yeah, we know the groups will work for this. Admin will pop in pretty quickly. Then we've got like all of those, add them in, we've got the risk. Ooh, all right, oh, keep doing that. Once again, another pedantic bug. This is going to be very, very quick to fix. Uh, RFC information. Uh, tiny mouse under risk is not carrying the theme. Uh, please note the thing dark theme. So, uh, very easy to fix. It'll probably be one or two lines, that one. Press for change, no version number or anything like that. Just get that out. Okay, next issue. Let's um, update this. Oh, all right. Once again. Uh, RFC information, updating risk. Uses old modal. Uh, we are depreciating this old modal. We'll use the new toasts instead. So yeah, that's pretty easy to do. We'll fix it up. Uh, this one might take a little bit longer because what I'll end up doing is finding it, being like, all right, cool, I'm going to search for this everywhere and just remove it completely from the system. I mean, in reality, it's not really harming anything. It's just that I want Near Beach to be consistent now. All right. Um... Uh, I'm going to actually hijack uh, this one. So it's not only risk, risk slash implementation. See, I wonder if. Uh, 
There's not an ability to... Alright, not a problem. Alright. RFC information <laughs> implementation plan not um, passing through theme. All right, easy done. So, uh, Sandy, what, what are you using to create the pixel art, if you don't mind me asking? MS Paint, or are you using a, a particular tool? I've, I've never done pixel art at all, so I wouldn't even know how to do it. Um, RFC information, back out plan, um, missing theme. Uh, Please note the missing theme. All right. Normal. Bug. Submitted. Myself. Request for change. Sweet. All right. And test plan. This is the last one. RC information test plan missing theme. Please note the missing theme. Alright, cool. Uh, the run sheet. So let's create a new item. Let's go back up database. Let's say that's let's uh state uh dance dance revolution. Did you ah? All right, definitely doing that. All right, cool. Those are fine. That should have updated all of that. We can delete, we can cancel. So Dance Dance Revolution that will finish at 9.15 a.m. So we start this at 9.00. 15 and we need to do that to 9 30. and this should be the backup database all right and then we click come in here we're like all right um change task sorry there's no links to this change task Oh, yep, yep, yep. Is blocked by. Go back. Okay. Um, change task currently blocked by. Yep, all right, sweet. Description. I need to. Once the dance off has been completed, we'll need to. To um, what uh, we'll need to back up the database. All right. Take a screenshot. Copy. New issue. All right. Um, change task. User not notified when updating description. Okay. So method. One, log into near beach to navigate to an open um, RFC. Three, go to an open, uh, go to a change task. Under the change task information, edit the description and click the update description button. Uh, expected results 
um, description is updated and the user is notified. Actual results, um, nothing. Silence is scary. Okay, just doing that, doing that, and doing that. I'm gonna go normal, we're gonna go bug. This one shouldn't be too hard to actually do. Essentially, we just need to put in a toast. Um, yeah. I'm going to create one called change tasks. Yeah, it should be a very simple sort of toast that just pops up and everyone's happy. Misc downtime. Frank the database guy. Now that Hmm. If I put a full stop there, that's not going to change anything. Oh, it does. Is this updated automatically? Oh! User not notified of automat. The misc fields are automatically updated. However, the user is not notified of their updates. All right, this is, um, this works against most near beach flow thus we need to make sure the change tasks reflect this all right i'm going to say this is a major one just because i can see someone tripping over this very easy and that should be like that all right, just doing another quick stretch. Okay. We are headed into nine o'clock. We have, oh, how many bugs do we have? We got 46 now. Okay, I'm not scared of that at all. Um, we have keyed that in, we're going to hit save, everything's happy, um, we're just going to go go back. Alright, um, downtime flagging. This is a nitpick. Change task downtime not shown in run sheet. All right, cool. Uh, the backup database, this is runtime uh, change task, should flag as, that's not in proper time order either. That should be 9 a.m. first. All right, uh, the backup database change tasks play, um, should have the flag downtime assigned to it. All right, cool. gonna be normal where there's a bug we're just gonna go submit it this is gonna be assigned to me this is gonna be a change task uh, and then we're just gonna go create then we've got this other bug where um, the order of the change tasks 
um, is not correct. The order for the change tasks should be by the start date. Then alphabet order. Start date, actually start date, then end date, then alphabetical order. Currently, alphabetical order, which is, which is terrible for a run sheet. Now this is actually going to be a critical issue. Part of a request for change. This will actually bump into the next version. Easy done. All right, so only I think four criticals, which is good, which is really, really good. Um, and these four criticals should hopefully not take too long to fix. Okay. Do, 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 do. Just solving the cube again. All right, let's go into here. So we've done the change tasks and stuff like that. Uh, update request. All right, RFC has saved. Uh, submit RFC. This is now in read only mode. Now I don't have access. But it's not I'm waiting for approval. It's not telling me who can approve. That is a feature I did not long ago. RSC waiting for approval, not showing the approval list to users. Um, in the above screen shot, uh, the RFC is currently waiting to be approved. However, there are there is no list of approved. However, the list of users who can approve the um, the RFC is not shown. All right. Uh, so, waiting for approval. The following users will be able to. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. It's there. I need to read. Delete draft. Sorry, it's. Right there, waiting for approval. The following users will be able to approve the uh, or reject the RFC. We just don't have it in a random color. I thought it was going to be in in a random color. Like I thought it was going to be background warning, but no, that's not true. It's not true at all. Uh, all right, so only the dark admin user can do that. So we need to log in as them. So dark admin. Now here they've got the request for change uh, waiting for approval. The following request for change requires your action to you to action them. You can either approve, reject, or uh, approve or reject these requests for changes. So we just go into here. We can let's go approve and let's just get out of there so we're now at this stage where we can either start the RFC or not what we can do is we're just going to get hit start our RFC so it goes into this we can pause the RFC which goes into this and then restart the RFC which goes into this we can then start the task, we can pause the task, we can start the task, ready for QA, we can start the task again, we can pause the task, we can set the task to success, and then we go yes. 
We can, um, now this is in incorrect order. Ah, uh, it's because I got January 8th, January 29th. All right, we're gonna have to retest that one bug. It might be. This might not actually be an issue. New object, request for change. Let's get rid of this. Let's go in, in here. Let's go RFC, RFC. Let's go next. Um, emergency 030.31. Oh. Let's do all of this. Let's go to the run sheet. Let's, uh, so the first of the eighth, so that's today at nine, 15. Let's go add and create another. Oops, uh, let's go uh, notify, notify uh, stakeholders of starting project. Create another and we're like, oh no, we forgot to actually state at 8.30. At eight o'clock, confirm to nine. Confirm, we are backing up the database. And that's fine. Let's close that. And that's ordered in perfectly fine. Um, and then if we add in a new change, we're like, all right, at 9, 30, 40. Uh, dance. So. Uh, closed modal, and that is, yep, yeah, all right. Um, please note when we saw this, the dates were on completely different days. We made that mistake. This is Got to be no, uh, let's, let's just knock that down to normal. Let's just, um, won't fix, not a bug. Not a bug. Dates were on different days. Okay, cool. So, down to 47 bugs, uh, three criticals. So that is fine, that is good. And the Rubik's Cube is getting me distracted again. Oh, it's pretty colors. Okay. Okay. That just, uh, We're pretty happy with this. Submit for approval. Ah, oh, no, uh, this goes straight into um, start RFC. Let's go down, let's start, uh, set task to fail, yes. Um, Oh. We can't complete this. Okay. Can't complete RFC with one task failed. 
Um, please note the task that ha that has failed. Um, it is stopping us from completing the RSC. This is definitely uh, critical. It's definitely a bug. Submitted. Um, this is request for change. Okay, so the business logic states that th in this particular case, we can still submit the RFC for closure, but closure with failed. And that needs to go in next uh, release, so create. All right, I think I've done all of that. Okay, so we've thoroughly shaken out Near Beach tonight. Uh, we, once again, we've found four critical bugs. Uh, otherwise, every other bug is really very nitpicky type of situation. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy. Like, finding these bugs, I'm like, I can fix that right now, I can fix that right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do a release tonight, and then I'm going to fix them all. I'll probably, if i got time tomorrow, I'll probably squeeze out a couple tomorrow and do another release. And then Wednesday, when I do another stream, I'll see how many I can do on stream, and then do a release. So, yeah, I feel like we can get through that large list pretty quickly, but we've got to take care of the criticals first. Uh, because they're stopping people from doing stuff. Um, so this will be a critical. I think this one, I don't know if it would be hard to complete. I think this is pretty easy to complete. I think I've got to filter for those. Yeah, I'll figure this out. This should be um, easy to do. All right, so we now have 48 issues. Holy hell. Um, with this one, this will go no version to kill it out of there. Uh, upload image. So we're dealing with the criticals. We've got the major one. I feel like, uh, I feel like that will go to the next one. This one will definitely go for the next one. Next one. Next one. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's the case. Um, and then we can get everything sort of done and dusted and yeah. Okay, anyway. Let's, sorry, finish solving this cube first. Terribly sorry. Let's have a look at this. So we've got five bugs which we're done. We retest them tonight. We know they work perfectly fine. Uh, let's go through the process of deployment. So nearbeach.read the docs. So procedures, deployment of near beach. All right, cool. Uh, git pull and merge in the main branch. So what we need to do is git pull. Uh, new branch, robotic head patch one. funding. Didn't I do a pull request for this? Okay. Sorry, th this just updated the funding. 
So we've moved the funding from here to near beach. So it's no longer against my name. It looks like I just didn't dead branch that. Okay, no problem. Um, all right, this is where we check things. So git checkout main, git pull. All right, cool. Git checkout development 0.30.30, oh, 31, sorry. Git pull. Git status. Git merge main in first. Git status. Git add everything. Yeah, I think it's just the static files that get added in. So what we're gonna do, npm run prod, npm run prod, again, and du double check that nothing's been changed. So git pull in the main branch, we want the security features and then run audit tools. Okay, it'll do its thing first. All right, um, we're packed and alert compiled with, yep, two warnings, warning entry points. Yeah, I know, it's just huge. Uh, been at 500 kilobytes, I know. I will, one day. I'll get rid of the icons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, NPN audit, git status. Yeah, it's just those files which uh, we're tracking. So remove the build and dist folders. So remove, build, remove, dist. All right. Oh, wrong way. Okay, update the version numbers. Yes, we definitely need to do that right now. So we're gonna close all tabs in group. Close this. We're gonna minimize everything. We're gonna open up this. We're gonna open up our package. And we're gonna go there. We're gonna open up this and we're gonna open up this and we're gonna, and there. All right, cool. Make sure you're using the current source. Source um, VM bin activate. Cool, yep. Uh, run unit tests. So Python 3, manage test. It shouldn't take too long to do. I don't foresee this failing because we were running unit tests the other day. So forth like that. Now we haven't migrated the tests to the new um, permission checker. That will be, because there's a lot to write in that. It'll be just too much. So what I'll do is I will write more unit tests. I, I, after we do the release, I'll be focusing on that. Um, uh, run the unit tests for the view front end. Uh, npn run unit tests. Oh, depreciating stuff. I love it when that happens. Oh, one failed. Oh, all right. Um, cannot read property undefined reading zero. So that's groups, groups information. All right. Um, minimize everything. Source, JavaScript, components, groups, group information. So it's saying it there. Okay. Come here. Sit. Stay. Nope. Nope. All right. 
I don't need to edit this. I don't need to edit the code. I just need to edit the test. Um, so if I go to source Java, sorry, not source tests, units, groups, group information. What's actually happening? Group results. It is stating group results zero. That should be working. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think this is also an error I had uh, in Circle CI for some strange reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our Circle. Oi! I'm going to go into our Circle CI. Go to application because I know we had a random issue. where it failed one and it's right there yet it passed again with no changes to that test or that um so it updates the funding there uh initial refactor of user checking so that happened the other day there's the patch initial refactor of that permission so if i click on that all i'm doing our oh, group information oh okay so i'll change that from that structure to that structure sorry from that structure to that structure but that should be the same Okay, let's move it back. Source, JavaScript, components, groups, group information. So what we need to do, is it wants it in that format, which is weird. Because it's just weird. There we go. Okay, npn run prod. So yeah, we gotta run this prod again. Okay, cool. npn run unit tests, which will take Hopefully not too long. I also need to find out what they're depreciating, which is really annoying because when I was doing all the boiler template, that wasn't appearing. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and hopefully fix all that. All right, sweet. So that is working. Um, I can come back to why that's been weird at a later date, but let's move on. Figured out what was wrong, we fixed it. Everyone's happy. Compile the JavaScript, we've just done that. Run the end end to end tests, npn run etwe. Now that should check to make sure that nothing, there's no errors or anything like that. Now we know some of these are going to have an issue. We know the WebKit doesn't work. You understand that on this version of Ubuntu. When we update our version of Ubuntu in a couple of months to, uh, it'll be 2404. Hopefully that bug won't be around because it's an annoying bug. Um, I need to keep WebKit in here. Um, for testing purposes and that and a lot of this will move to circle CI. So yeah, WebKit's broken, but everything else is working perfectly fine. Now I'm going to double check the pictures. Now I understand because these are flashing images, I will be changing the screen to show my face. So for those that want to know what they look like, it's all these pictures. 
So give me two seconds. Whilst I just make sure everything on these pages load up perfectly fine. It looks like so, yep, I'm happy. All right, and we're back. Cool, so we've done that, we've done that. Um, we don't have any more packages. Update the virtual environment. This is um, pip list out, up, outdated. Oh, what is it? Uh, pip list outdated. Like so. Photo 3 will be on there, guaranteed. Yep, there you go, Photo 3. Alright, so. Cool. So pip install upgrade uh, Alabaster Boto 3. Photo core, Django, IPython, pillow, traitlets, URL lib3, WC width. And yeah. Usually I do this uh, with the updates and all that kind of stuff. So that way um, when I'm doing the development next time, I've got an up-to-date sort of environment and so forth like that, which should represent production. Because with these versions, uh, production gets up the latest code, the latest libraries and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. All right. Whilst that's running, uh, we just need to do the bdist and upload dist. So I'll just copy this. So yeah, once again, a lot of this will automate and so forth like that. We'll, um, we've already been spending 10 minutes on this. Yeah, uh, in the near future, that will be a lot less. In fact, I'm gonna drag that over to the instructions. The one reason being is I can just do this. All right, Python 3, uh, twine upload dist. Uh, repository near beach and there we go and we're uploading uh, hopefully that doesn't hit my bitrate too much it looks like we're going well which is good okay Yeah, right, got the second file to upload. All right, not a problem. It is uploading. Slowly, you know, th th these things happen. I don't have the fastest internet in the world. So, yeah. Okay, that is uploaded. Sweet. All right, cool. Git status. Git add everything. Git commit. Um, release 0.30.31. Git push. Okay, cool. Now we do a uh, merge back into the main. Go to near beach, near beach. We go uh, compare and pull request. So we, what we want to do is we have bug fixes and we've got features. Mm, sorry. Um, uh, there, there was a way to. Um, push all of like I 
All right, no, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, all right, no problem. So our bugs, we're gonna put them in order. So we're gonna click on this, we're gonna click on this, and we're gonna paste it in, go to the next one. All right, the features. We did a feature for this. Uh, shrink login screen um, min.js file. Um, implemented an alert to notify the user. Um, the requirements are closed. Yep, that's all. Cool. Great pull request. Sign myself. We are jumping, we're doing something naughty. Delete the branch. All right, cool. That is merged. Now, create a new release. I just realized I hit the wrong shortcut key before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit, copy, cancel, go into here, paste it in, do that. Uh, it won't let me do a generative note release. Choose tag alpha 0.30.31. And then, and then 31, uh, generate the tag. All right, cool, preview. Yep, what's changed? Mm-hmm. All right, sweet. So we'll publish release. And then we need near beach docker. And once again, all of this will be automated soon. So all I need to do is just do the pull request and the release, and then everything else will fall into place. Um, yeah. It will eventually happen. Oops, sorry, code. GitHub workflows, we need the, this one, the Docker image. Edit this one. We're searching for 0.30.30. We're replacing it with 0.30.31. So if we replace all, there we go. And then we commit changes. Uh, we do release of 0.30.31. Commit directly, bypass the rules. And we do that and we've got the actions going now. So everything should be running smoothly. So yeah, that just means that we've got a release done tonight which is great news. So now we just do a little bit of administration work. So we, um, so this is all done. Go to the GitHub, all that. All right, cool. So it's deploying right now. So I'm just gonna close all of this, closing this, closing this. I'm gonna open up nearbeach.org. Braco. Gonna log in. We're actually going to edit our counter bugs. So um, what we need, first off, we need to fix this. So fixed, 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 and fixed. All right, cool. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually delete this one. Yep, confirm, delete. 
this one will have four scheduled. This one will have four scheduled. So current current bugs is 48. All right. We've scheduled four to fix. We've got none in their blocked code coverage and that hasn't changed. We've just released a new version and that has happened on the 8th of January 2024. So our first release of this year. Um, should have done it the other day. And then we've just got to go save and publish. And that will update all our um, blogs and stuff like that. So if we actually go to nearbeach.org, go menu blogs. Uh, let's take this blog. You'll notice this gets updated straight away. So, yep. Uh, all right, let's do a Twitter update. Uh, let's. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so just finished shaking out the page. We did find some issues. Um, we're going for critical issues dealing with image uploads and um, can't complete and R and an RC can't complete. Complete. I uh, will put that in like that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, five major issues. Dealing with a variety of um, issues. The rest. Yes. We currently have 48 bugs. All right. So the rest are normal slash minor and look to be simple one line fixes. Um, and very looks like busy. All right, cool. And then what I wanna do is I want to take a screenshot. Uh, the rest are looking like my item normal, simple one line fixes, or nick picks. All right, cool. All right. Do, 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 do. Just, I'm sorry, I'm just having a think about post release sort of stuff. I will be waiting another 20 minutes before I update my portal. Um, just because it usually takes about half an hour to deploy the code uh, to the um, static CDN and stuff like that. So, we've done a shakeout test today, we've deployed. Um, it's a, we don't have enough time to really start the fixing the notes bug or any of these particular bugs themselves. So, yeah. Um, let's at least. So if I go git checkout main, git pull. 
and then npm run watch here. Am I still in debug mode? No, I'm not. I'm fluffing everywhere socks. She's like, what? Let's um, let's let's at least try and figure out this issue. So new pro, sorry project. Let's let's go pictures. Let's go Twitch. All right, that, that's a funny one. Let's uh, move socks into there. So it shows for a fraction of a second. Four or four not found. Oh, it's not finding it. Um. In that sort of case, that's not a CRF issue. Because it looks like... It uploaded fine. It's got the response back with the document key and all that kind of stuff. It's got the miceclip.jpg. So this one's fine. In the sense that it's we're just not getting the correct permissions for that one thing. Which is really super annoying. Um Let's see. Oh sorry, if I quickly just jump into this, create this. It does work. So it doesn't, ah, all right, cool. So it doesn't, hmm, have the correct permissions for the other place. Okay. Okay, that, that shouldn't be too hard to fix. That's part of the Django side of things. Uh, if I open up the database, Let's go um, sites, new each, database. We want to browse that data. We actually want to browse the near beach document permission. Um, what we want to do is we first want to up, we want to close that. Let's go new object, new project. Let's Drag and drop. Let's do the Twitch boot up thing. So, bang, issues. If we go into, not that, uh, sorry, this. Let's refresh this. Boom, this is our thing. So there's no, none. No properties here. All right, which should flag to the system, this image isn't assigned to anything. Everyone has access to this. Which is weird why that isn't the case. And then the new object over here, that, that just, that I, UUID just helps people connect to it and so forth like that. So this, this should pass. Cause we've got the same sort of thing. If we go to an organization. Go down to here. Let's upload a document, upload document, browse. Armed with calculators, let's upload, All right? Armed with calculators is 8DDC. We refresh this. We've got 8DDC. Ah, so it is connected via that. So it should be these it's looking at and being like, hmm, there's no association to it. We should bypass all of this. So what I'm going to do, minimize everything. I am going to go to the near beach views, documentation, minimize this, 
list files no document list file no document remove no document no document upload no that's fine get max uh private download file so what happens is this goes through a bunch of different permissions and so forth like that so the object assignment results so this will go through bang it has to be not deleted and join in the users groups object assignment results Cool. Profile picture. Customer is null equals false or organization null equals false. Um, user profile picture. Um, if the object assignment results dot count equals zero, the user does not have permission. All right, sweet. So yeah, I've got a. Whoa, this is one of those cases where there's a bunch of and statements being like and the project ID is null, and the task ID is null, and the required, like, we've got to be like, and all of these are null type of situations. Um, yeah. We had this working not long ago, we've just broken it. So, um, yeah. Cool. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think one to two hours of work for that. Um, yeah, and then hopefully the CRF token. Uh, now, if we go to an existing object, uh, let's go to a project and let's drag and drop that in. Yeah, it's not working there. Um, let's just reload. Drag and drop me in. 403 forbidden. Respond, Seraph token missing. If we go into the request, Seraph token, it's right there, buddy. 